Hey there guys, it's Wes with Air West Tarot and today I'm going to be doing the um, semi-monthly reading for the zodiac sign of Cancer. For this reading I'm going to be looking at the um, basically the first two weeks um, for December and these, uh, these readings are a little bit late so unfortunately it is going to be minus a couple days uh, but it's going to be from the 5th as of today until the 16th. That it's going to apply. I will be a reading from the Dreams of Gaia, One Message. This is a piece of advice that will help you through your endeavors. You don't have to watch it, it's optional if you want to. Timestamps will be down in the comment section down below, but for the final feature will be a Celtic Cross, which I'll be uh, looking at your basically the most uh, challenging or issue that's going on with your life, and we'll just see how that's going to incorporate in the next um, about week and a half. Now anything can change in tarot, so don't obviously take anything for granted. Uh, you always have the, the you know, ability to choose. But I'll kind of read and see what the situation is and we'll go from there. I haven't done too many uh, Celtic Crosses in quite some time. I'm actually doing these temporarily until I have my own format for these monthly messages. But because I didn't want to cause any delays, I'm just opting for the Celtic Cross because it's something that's tried and tested. It does work. And so I have a particular format that I'll be looking at for reference on the screen from time to time. Um, but other than that, let's get started. All right. So let's get one message from the Dreams of Gaia. For your message, Cancer. Can I get one, one message, one piece of advice for the zodiac sign of Cancer going from the 5th to the 16th of December, please, 2001. Is one piece of advice, one message for the zodiac sign. Cancer. I do have some incense and candles lit here, so I think the vibe's right. Let's see what we got. Oh, we do have water energy, and you are a water sign. Lovely. So let's find out what that is, and let me show that again. Okay. It looks like the six of water. Let's see what that is. Yeah, six of water, so 279. And um, as I said, if you don't want to watch this message, you can just skip it. Go to the, the comment section down below and skip to uh, the Celtic Cross. So six of water, it is upright. Cancer. And this is advice for you to help you on your journey. Keywords, kindness, concern, sympathy, compassion, understanding, forgiveness, love, and ideals. Key phrases, the ideal of kindness and compassion, see all that is good and pure in humanity, strive to be better, embrace healthy boundaries, accept that you will falter, overcome obstacles with gentle determination, do not meet aggression with aggression, be kind and walk away. Okay. So here's the main meaning of the card. The six of water is the epitome of kindness and concern. She represents all that is good and pure within humanity and the ideal uh, that many strive to meet. She is kind, but not to a fault. She displays a concern and care, but does so with a level of emotional detachment. She is sympathetic, compassionate, and giving, but does not to the extent that she leaves nothing for herself. She is understanding and aware that we all think, believe, and see life in a unique way, and that determines how we behave and respond to others. She is forgiving, but forgives because she knows that the acts set... Uh, because she knows that the act sets her free and enables her to move forward without being weighed down by past experiences. She is a gentle soul who overcomes all obstacles with determination as free, free of any aggression or intent to do harm. She is the peaceful warrior who wins all with the gentle touch or smile, a kind word and compassionate, generous nature. Does she represent an impossible ideal? Do you strive to be like her? Or do you find yourself incapable of behaving this way all the time? The Six of Water comes to tell you just to be you. Show compassion. Be empathetic and understanding and aware of all that makes us different. Be generous, but remember to keep healthy boundaries in place. Most importantly, be kind to yourself when you don't live up to your own expectations. Sometimes impossible ideals are impossible. To be, uh, to be the perf uh, peaceful warrior warrior you have to be kind and generous to yourself as you are to others i think that's a good message because you know like i said sometimes water signs are notorious for giving way too much of themselves to others 
they don't set those boundaries because of the fact that, um, you know, especially a sign like cancer, you know, when you guys fall in love with somebody, you want to give everything to that person, you're very fierce, you're very loyal, especially, like I said, when you love this person, the problem is, is that it can deplete your bank account and can drain you emotionally. And cancers will do that. They'll do it because, hey, I justify it because I, I deeply have emotions. I'm invested into this person. But at the end of the day, it can drain you physically and financially and materially. So be careful of that, Cancer. All right. So let's move to the Celtic Cross. And let's see what the next week and a half about has for you. Let's get a fix up here. What do we have for the zodiac sign of Cancer? Hey, okay, get to cross, please, with ten cards. Whoa! <laughs> Here's the two decks, right? It's shot out on its own. Look at that Cancer, Cancer energy right there. It's shot out on its own, so. I have to assume with that message, Cancer, that this has something to do with it. So we're taking it for the situation. Okay. Seems like we have the higher ups with us. Alright, can we get uh, nine more cards, please? The challenge, beliefs, position three, rid of the issue, uh, okay, this and past, near future, near future, self perception, outside influences, how others perceive you, action advice, likely outcome, please. Paraffins it all to this Queen of Cups All right. Hmm. Uh huh. <laughs> All right. So I love this dreams guy. I tell you, dreams guy for the win here, guys. <laughs> Oops. I knew that message had something. It just you know the minute that I read it, I just knew that it had something to do with cancer. So it does with your cultic cross as well. <laughs> love it. Wow, okay, interesting. <coughs> What's so crazy is that you have the... I'll, I'll get to it in a second. Alright, so Cancer. In your situation, we had the Queen of Cups. So this is going to talk about a situation involving some type of emotional complexity, love, affection. Uh, there might be a strong desire from your standpoint to have some, you know, a deeper emotional connection. It is coming from a standpoint of emotional maturity. Okay, fun. Kind of keeping the water bubbling a little bit, you know, some type of excitement, enthusiasm. However, what is in your challenge position, which crosses over it, is the Eight of uh, Swords. Let's talk about some type of concern or issue that is mentally straining you. It is something that is, uh, sometimes you may not be able to see the answer or the, the clarity in a situation. And, you know, when we don't know the answer to something, that is bothering us, especially if we're emotionally invested into that situation. One of the issues we can generally have occur to us is we get stuck in our head because we keep replaying the same issues over and over and over and over and over and over in our head. Why do we do that? Well, we're not doing it just to dick around and waste time. We're doing it because we're trying to make sense of something, trying to understand it and try to understand why if something didn't go our way, why didn't it go our way? A lot of different things, but it is showing up in your challenge position once again, have a look at that lady there. She looks pretty distressed out. So it can, you know, it's not as bad as the Nine of Swords, but it is, you know, it is something that's going to tax your mind. Now, position three, your beliefs. Um, so this can be somewhat, for some of you, being stuck in a fantasy land of basically wanting that perfect lover, that deep rooted connection, which is probably why the Queen of Cups is there. This, once again, could also talk about a relationship that has been going on for a lot of you cancers out there. Something that has been, uh, you know, in the perfect world, we would all like to think that, you know, we meet that one lover. And sometimes, you know, for a lot of us, that does happen where we have these magical moments, things that were just amazing memories, things that went so good. But with time, that situation just deteriorates. It just doesn't go... As expected, you know, maybe this person changes, maybe they don't change, maybe they lose everything, maybe this person um, tells you just a entire script of all these things that they are, whatever, but you know, one, two years down the road, you're starting to realize that no, they're really not, maybe they weren't being honest about those things. There's a lot of different things, but 
you know, once we uncover those truths about a person, right? The damage is already done. If, if, if time has gone by, you are really rooted and invested in some image of a person that no longer exists. This is like, this is like, for example, you know, if you had a new business taking off the ground, right? And there was a seminar that said, come invest in our business. And so you're like, well, why should I? Well, then the guy, the sales guy is like, well, this is this reason and that reason, whatever. The guy eventually sells you and you're, you're excited about this, okay? So you come along there and you're so skeptical. It's like your first date, right? And then this person sells you and all the things that are so great about this company. That they're going to be this, it's going to do this, and oh my god, the future is here. We're going to basically do this, and oh, sky's the limit, baby. You know, you can apply this from like a seminar like that, or you can apply it like a relationship that's being sold like it's, you know, it's gold. But you end up, at the end of that event, you give them $5,000, $10,000, or you give them your love and everything like that, because you're believing that what they're selling to you is true. But one, two, three years down the road, it's the expectations haven't really occurred. And so it's a problem because of the fact that, you know, being in your mind like this, I would absolutely be in my mind. I would be like, you know, is this ever going to pan out? They keep saying it's going to, and it's not. Uh, that'd be very disappointing. When's that stock going to rise so high that I can sell all my shares and make a fortune? Well, it doesn't look like it is right now. When is that person going to commit and be that person they said they were going to be? Because so far, everything I've seen, they haven't been. That will probably keep you up in your mind. Um, so this can be something, you know, uh, that's ingrained to you, that you have this, you know, belief about, like I said, the situation, that it has an expectation to it, that you want this close-knit relationship. And for others of you, without all the explanations, it's just something as simple as wanting a deeper connection with somebody, someone that's loving, that cares about you. Now, in the root of the issue is the King of Pentacles, and this is going to be talking about, as far as a rooted issue, this is so. This is something that's been going on for all cancers, for a lot of you, is, is one, being honest, commitments. For a portion of you out there, you may have been lying, may have been deceiving others, maybe, you know, you've been going on dates and not being quite honest about, you know, what you want. Now, don't rip my head off. I know a lot of you are going to be like, oh, how, what a bastard for saying that. No. Uh, this is the root of the issue. So, uh, for some of you, it is going to be something which the King of Pentacles upright does talk about, man or woman, it doesn't really matter, it is talking about being more concrete with your commitments. In other words, that, you know, if you say you're going to do something, do it. If you are going to commit to something for five weeks, you best commit to it for five weeks, okay? Uh, for others of you, this could be talking about, you know, your financial stability, that perhaps you have not really uh, grounded yourself to the point where you are able to really maintain your own independence and that could be affecting your emotional um, uh, your emotions just in general um, you know your emotional integrity really depends on your financial stability because if you're not financially stable well you are unfortunately at the mercy sometimes of others who are financially stable they will kind of exercise the boundaries upon you and that's a problem because you got to say to yourself like well if I'm having to, you know, be subjected to someone else's uh, laws of the land, it's not really independence, is it? It's servitude. So this can be sometimes uh, something that can strain you a little bit, especially, I, I would also think something that could be taxing your mind is so someone's putting boundaries on you the whole time, telling you what you can and can't do. Well, how the hell can you be yourself if you can't, you're, you're following their rules? You can't. So I think this is the root of the issue. It is something where it's really kind of getting independence, being able to stand on your own two feet and not depend on others. Now, in the near past, we have the Three of Cups in reverse. So this is going to talk about basically things that didn't go to plan. It could be canceled celebrations. Um, can, in some context, talk about third-party situations that you might have been at the center of or you were involved with. Okay, but one way or another, it's, it's not good times. It's things that went wrong. Okay, Let's get a clarification on this three of cups. Can I get a clarification on the three of cups in reverse? For the near past, why is that the near past for 
Cancel. One card, please, to clarify that Three of Cups in reverse. Yeah, uh, well, this doesn't tell me a whole lot different from what I just already told you, but Cancer, for some of you, this also can talk about not being, um, not being yourself. This is not having the confidence, really, within yourself that you can express yourself the way that you want to be, which was kind of uh, coincide to what I was just talking about. Remember, I was just talking about that ability to freely express yourself, and that's really what's coming through with the sun in reverse there, is that that's just talking about just that. It's it's kind of like a restrictive environment where it's like you want to do, maybe you want to dye your hair pink with multiple colors in it. But the conclusion from a logical standpoint, using that air energy, would probably suggest that you know doing so might piss off the person I'm living with because they're very conservative and they don't believe in that stuff. Well, that's a very restrictive thing that might irritate you and keep it up in your head. Oh, God, I really want to do that, but I can't. And it's making me unhappy that I can't do that, express myself the way it is. Uh, for others of you, this could also just be a relationship um, or a job, job uh, career opportunity that just unfortunately fell on its feet. It just didn't go anywhere. Or it just was emotionally unfulfilling. You know, there's a lot of different ways you can apply it, but I'm getting a more of a sense that this is talking about relationships. And given that in your beliefs position, we have the lovers here, I would have to apply... There's a huge, so much water energy, and this, you are a water sign, so, you know, not surprised there, but, I mean, it seems like a huge, deep concern about, around your self-esteem, and also just, uh, maybe a relationship, more so than career, if anything, but I do get a sense that career and finance is playing a big role in your ability to develop, uh, as a person. Now, in the near future, you have the hangman in reverse. And what's concerning about that, Cancer, is I think you are, with this uh, Eight of Swords energy here, I think you are trying to get clarity. Um, you know, when we can't find clarity in something, we tend to turn to ourselves. And that means we stay heavily in thought, trying to process and understand something. But there's always that point where we can cross, where it goes on too long, right? Too long. Now, for some of you, not all of you, but for some of you, what this hangman in reverse is going to suggest, so this is going to go two ways. The first set of you is it's going to be prolonged and thought way too long. And this is something like this entrapment where you are, I, I hate to keep bringing this card back up, but it's literally this. It's literally this. It's staying stuck in your mind. Feeling like you have no way out. There's no option. There's no ways to get out of this situation or the problem. But really and truly, what that woman is not understanding is that there is, even though the swords in, encase her like a cage, there's actually an opening there. Just like with the devil card, there is a way to just take those chains off. Uh, but she's blindfolded, so she's oblivious to you know seeing such a such a, something that's so obvious. She doesn't see it because she's blindfolding herself, and she's she's tied up so she feels like it's impossible you know but even being blindfolded and handcuffed if she just walked around the room and felt basically felt you know where it was solid she would eventually come to an opening wouldn't she not she would she would just keep hitting the wall yeah hit the wall hit the wall oh woo. okay i just got through okay so there is a way out and sometimes the answer the, the answer that doesn't seem like the best way of doing things, but hey, it's a solution, and she may not be seeing it, he or she, okay? So for some of you, may be stuck in thought way too long. For others of you, you are going to get out of your mind about things, and you are going to have new clarity, awareness, and perspective on your situation. Now, as far as your self-perception, this kind of ties in nicely with the hanging man in reverse there. Uh, and everything else really on the board here is that you are somebody right now, Cancer, uh, going through a period of your life where you are seriously evaluating what has and hasn't worked. We all have things uh, where we put to the trial and error, and we try things out, and sometimes it takes a hundred times for us, you know, for it to sink in that something doesn't work and something does. But whatever the case is, you are trying to make better plans for yourself. You're, you're trying to evaluate your life. And look at what you know. What has been working? Excuse me. What has been working and what hasn't? I don't want to be in this trapped energy of not ever getting what I want and not being able to express myself the way I want. So, which parts of my life have been working, which haven't? I think you are going to be going through 
uh, you're perceiving yourself as somebody that is kind of trying to find the answer to, to something better for yourself. Okay, now for yourself, uh, I'm sorry, your outside influences, how other people see you, they, this, I mean, this is beautiful here, Cancer. Look, so they see you doing, you know, really taking the time to really kind of straighten your life out a little bit, and then they basically see you working on it. So this is putting the work for it. Once you've made those assumptions, those ideas, you're working for it. This guy, look at him. He's hard at work there. So this is putting the effort in, and I think you are basically working to try and get your finances better and get that stability because you know that doing though doing that is going to allow you to basically be able to express yourself live the kind of life you want and be yourself okay and also get you that kind of partnership and relationship that you want or that job that you want especially if this is like an entrepreneurship right you have that stability now i have the stability now i can do what i want to do so i love it so far fucking love it Action advice. Come out of conflict. Same as Aries. I just did Aries, Celtic Cross, and I was saying the same, same, almost same thing. You need to understand here something, Cancer, that there's going to be a lot of people that are going to challenge you, that are going to tell you, no, you can't. There's probably going to be sometimes, you know, coming back to almost the beginning of the reading. Remember what I was talking about? You know, you might have people that are controlling you. You might be living under the roof of somebody that might be really kind of uh, limiting what you can and can't do, that maybe they're conservative and whatever. Remember that piece I was talking about? Um, this is talking about you got to come out of conflict. You know, you can't you can't always look at everything as a, as a fight. You know, and some people do. They, they look at, you know, they stop themselves and they sit in heavy, in heavy thought because of the fact that they think everything's going to be an awful battle, battle. Well, I don't want to do that because I just, I just know it's going to be so much work. Oh yeah, it's gonna be fun. No, I don't. You know, because they're gonna react this way. I don't. I don't want to deal with this. Oh, you know, it's kind of like in some ways, this excuse we give ourselves that you know, it's, you know, to tell ourselves a fifteen-second reason why we can't do something because it's gonna be a conflict of issue or something like that stops us from doing something. But really and truly what we're not seeing there is that it's just really a 15 second explanation so we don't have to do something. Because we know that what that doing that would require work. You know, so I do think for some of you are kind of, you know, um, are probably limiting yourself and allowing yourself to stay in thought for way too long because of self-limiting beliefs or that there is things that are just out of your control that you can't control and therefore because of that I can't do anything I can't take action which is not true that is absolutely not true and so I do think you need to number one it's not saying here in the action advice to engage in conflict that's not what I'm saying I'm not saying take the bull by the horns and go and do something like that but I think for some of you out there if you are being uh, limiting yourself and stopping yourself from moving forward and just staying stuck in your head because of the fact that you think, well, I can't do something because of X, Y, and Z reason, because I just know that's going to be an uphill battle. I do think in some cases you need to re you know, reevaluate that, first and foremost, because that's not always the case. And furthermore, not just reevaluate it, but actually go and try it and do it and find out firsthand if that really is the case. Okay. Now, use logic and reason here, folks. I mean, if we're, I'm not saying, hey, you know, uh, let's go and challenge the police and see if they really are going to arrest me for for drug or something like that. Don't don't be an idiot, okay? Like yeah, I'm talking about reasonable stuff here. Um, you know, this is uh, I don't know. Just go. It could be like oh, maybe you're living with a difficult. Um, you think your neighbor is the most craziest person in the world? You know they're going to yell and scream at you because they have in the past about something. Why don't you just go and ask them and say you know what? I need to work on a project and stuff like that. It's going to take a bit of time, two hours. You know, I just wanted to check with you. Yeah, it's daunting. You're going to have to talk to them and stuff like that. But maybe you just catch them on a bad day or a good day and they're like, yeah, that's fine. Oh, wow. Now I can actually go and grind away at my wood project, whatever like that, that I was wanting to do that I thought I couldn't do because there's just going to be conflict talking to the person. And they actually turned up saying, yeah, I can do it. That's one example. Okay. Um... For others of you, this could also talk about engaging in too much conflict. Uh, so I have to assume too that for some of you that are, you know, with cancers, uh, unfortunately when they get pissed off, 
when they get cornered, they, they revert in their shell and they get very territorial and defensive. You know, they will basically lash out very quickly and anger is something that can come out, no doubt. Uh, it can get, you know, really bad. Especially uh, Cancers and Scorpios are definitely, uh, Pisces I'd say by far is third. But uh, Scorpio is being low. I would say Scorpio has the biggest bite, but they're not the most aggressive. Cancers are the most aggressive of all the water signs for sure. And Cancers, uh, you know, you have to be very careful with a Cancer. Uh, both Scorpios and Cancers are probably the most dangerous signs of all the signs. Uh, cancer being that they're so aggressive when you rub them the wrong way. They can really, really, uh, you know, they can strike back quite hard. Uh, Scorpio, more of, the, as far as the venom factor, Scorpio. But Cancer, as far as the aggression factor, Cancer. Uh, but... I, I do think for some of you are notorious, you know, when you are threatened and put in the corner, can engage in conflict too much, so which is why the action advice might be suggesting to stop doing that because it can cause a lot of issues and put you in your mind, especially if you said some nasty stuff to some someone or whatever. I mean, well, yeah, you would probably be in your mind about it, you know, because cancers, they sometimes wake up in the morning and have a different mindset and feel like, oh, God, I fucked up. You know, maybe I said too much. You know, and then they get in their emotions, and whatever, you know. Uh, so just think about that, okay? And that's your action advice. And then the likely outcome is the Four of Cups in reverse. So this is talking about, you know, whatever you have been disappointed about that hasn't gone your way. If something um, has been kind of, you know, that you, like I said, kind of in conjunction with the whole reading that I just pretty much talked about things not going your way things you know being restricted and stuff like that it does show that coming in the next week and a half that you are going to come out of that you're going to move past forward so I really like it I mean you're basically going to see that you know what I actually do I actually do have other opportunities and things that I can go after and there's other ways to get what I want and I'm not going to let this stop me. So, Cancers, I do think that you guys, one way or another, it's looking good. I want you to know that that I think you guys are going to push through uh, whatever challenge you have have here. I gave a lot of different examples on what that could be as far as, you know, your career or your finance or uh, a love situation. But it does heavily show that, you know, you have a lot of like, almost feeling of restricted and stuff like that. But just know that it does seem that you are pushing forwards. Others are recognizing that you are making effort to move forward. So I really like it. But just take the action advice and obviously the Dreams of Gaia. For those of you who didn't watch the Dreams of Gaia, I would strongly recommend to go and just quickly touch, touch on that because it does apply to your reading, it seems. Uh, but overall, I, I think you guys are going the right direction, Cancer. Um, so hopefully your challenge, your situation is not something that's going to be too overwhelming for you. Because uh, like I said, I, I've pulled this card up a million times at this point. But this really does seem to be the, um, you know, I, I can correlate this right. You know, just knowing how cancers are, how that could be a problem. And so I know that cancers can get stuck in their head for way too long. But I do think you're going to power through it and you are going to overcome it. So just... If you are in a situation where I'll just have faith that, you know, next week and a half, it does seem that if you just keep your head up high, keep your eyes on the target, push forwards, okay? And take the advice that I obviously put in the video. I think you can be successful in this. But anyways, guys, that's all I got for you. I'm Wes with the Aerialist Terror, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, can you like, share, and subscribe? It really helped the channel to grow. Get other eyeballs to the videos, and um, I also did put out my uh, all signs reading for the uh, person on your mind. So if you'd like to check that out, by all means, go go ahead and do that. Uh, but until next time, I'll see ya. Bye.